Howdy, and welcome to Texas A&M University, established in 1876. Home to the Food Protein Research and Development Center, a division of TEAS, the engineering research agency for the state of Texas. The Food Protein R&D Center was founded in 1939 and has been providing practical instruction with their short course series since 1981. Their unique approach to educating participants involves hands-on practical instruction with equipment after detailed lectures regarding those technologies. Every September, the Food Protein R&D Center sponsors their annual short course on aquaculture feed extrusion, nutrition, and feed management, and is hosted by Dr. Mian Riaz, the head of the extrusion technology program. The aquaculture feed course is organized in cooperation with the Department of Wildlife and Fishery Sciences, a division of the Texas Agricultural Experiment Station. At the end of the course, participants tour Texas A&M University's Aquaculture Research and Teaching Facility. Here you can see that this course is interactive and very hands-on. Industry experts from all over are involved with the aquaculture feed lectures and demonstrations. The equipment demonstrations are provided at both the main campus of Texas A&M University and the Riverside campus a few miles away. Here you can see the outlet of a surface coater, which is just one of the activities at Riverside campus. Each day of the course starts with lectures and then moves to the pilot plant for the live equipment demonstrations, which incorporate a variety of extruders and other feed processing equipment. Some demonstrations have multiple stages, so the participants are able to see the series of processes to make a product from the beginning to the end. Products such as floating, sinking, and microaquatic, to name a few. Participants are encouraged to bring their laptops so they can follow along with the speaker's presentations on the digital ebook manual provided. The four goals of the aquaculture feed course are to train production personnel in principles and characteristics of extruders and support systems for effective selection and operation. Review current practices and process equipment for preparation of aquaculture feeds. Demonstrate equipment in operation and familiarize attendees with practical aspects of feed extrusion and review the aquaculture nutrition and feed management practices. Here you can see high fat yellow tail feed being cut at the outlet of a twin screw extruder. The annual week long aquaculture feed course will be held in September. Short course participants receive lunches across the campus, tours of the Kyle Field football stadium, visits to the Corps of Cadets Museum, and a certificate of attendance. The Extrusion Technology Program hosts multiple short courses throughout the year. You can visit their website, foodprotein.tamu.edu slash extrusion, or you can contact them directly for more information.